Soon attorneys are expected to wrap up the federal trial challenging the suspension of state attorney Andrew Warren. The governor suspended Hillsborough County State Attorney Andrew Warren back in August, accusing him of neglecting his duty after he signed a pledge to not prosecute abortion cases. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders spent the entire day in court and tonight files this report. Attorneys for both Warren and the governor rested their cases Thursday. <laughs> But not before hearing from Gary Wiseman, Warren's former chief of staff. Wiseman told the court he had concerns about Warren signing that abortion pledge from the get-go and considered it, quote, policy. Having worked with Warren since 2017, he said the prosecutor is someone who, quote, does what he says and says what he does. We're fighting for free speech. Warren's attorneys noted that, unlike other office policies, the abortion statement wasn't circulated to staff. Members of his executive team didn't consider it a policy. And in TV interviews, Warren had said that he would weigh each case individually, despite his signature. The court also heard from Ryan Newman, the governor's general counsel. He was the main author of DeSantis suspension order, which followed the August press conference. I think it, it warrants the suspension and eventual removal. Newman testified the governor had initial reservations about the suspension, as Warren hadn't rejected any actual abortion cases. Newman said he pushed the governor to consider taking preemptive action, that Warren's pledge was essentially inviting lawlessness. Like others before him, he too said the motives weren't political, but he wasn't sure if DeSantis actually ever read the abortion statements. Once closing arguments conclude, it'll all be up to Judge Robert Hinkle. Was Warren's abortion pledge free speech, or was the governor's removal warranted? At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News. Just into our news.